Welcome back to Clav Bricks. Today we're going to be building the Jewel on Mandalore set. It comes with Darth Maul and Ahsoka. Ahsoka being one of my favourite Clone Wars characters. Um, on the back here you can see a bit more of the functionality of the set. Um, so it comes with like a coffin style piece for Darth Maul to hide in while he's waiting for Ahsoka. Um, and obviously the window can be knocked down when they are fighting in the fight scene. So we're going to just build through this. There's no time lapse video just because it's a shorter build. And then we can do um, some more close-up shots once the whole build is finished. All right, so my pet hate. Little books. Why do you do it? I'm, my hand is so big and fat. You give me such a small book. And also big stickers. I am terrified of how that's going to go. But we're going to give it our best crack. Now, it all came in one bag, no numbers as well, which is always satisfying. It means you don't have to cut the video down into pieces to do that. First, we're going to build Ahsoka. This is a later version of Ahsoka. And this set actually comes with so many lightsaber hilts, it's actually not funny. So don't be too worried about um, sourcing those because there's plenty of those going around. Now, I'm just divvying up some parts as I find them. Um, this is Ahsoka's head piece, so that can go just in there. The actual, um, I don't know what they're called, are uh, actually made out of rubber for this minifigure, which is remnant of the Kit Fisto minifigure, which I also used to have. Uh, I sold it for about $35, I think, which is probably one of my most expensive that I've ever sold. Okay, that's really annoying. Once you put the head in, just a warning, you can't move it. So be very careful because I just made a little bit of a mistake. That's okay. That happens. Regardless, I like the minifig. I love Ahsoka. She's a great character. Um, and she was fantastic in The Mandalorian. So I'm quite happy with her being in the jewel on Mandalore set. Uh, obviously, here is her jewel lightsabers. Um, we'll just put her down there for now. And then we're on to Maul. So Maul, very similar to Ahsoka, um, except he runs uh, dual lightsabers on his hilt rather than individually, um, which has been his characteristic ever since he was incepted into the movies. Um, and typically, I think this is a new fig as well um, with the robe. They, I don't know if they've done it before, maybe with the extended legs. Um, but it's a new fig that I've seen. So that's Darth Maul, anyway. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know what my camera's doing. It's really killing me at the moment. Um, it's just cutting out um, very frequently. So it looks like first we're going to build the coffin-style section of the build. Um, I may have to check on the recording every sort of two to three minutes just to make sure it's all going okay. Um, I think there's an issue with the focus, maybe. Um, what I'll do is I'll just stand Ahsoka up as best as I can, and same with Maul. Yep, sure. Um, and hopefully everything goes okay there. So we're just building the base for that at the moment. It's very simple, um, nothing out of the ordinary. Obviously you have to sift through a few parts, being that it's all in the one bag. I think my recycling is definitely going to cop it this week, though. Um, all things considered, once again, the recording did cut out, but I think it was a battery issue. Um, so what I've done is I've changed the battery and hopefully, fingers crossed, it doesn't die on me anymore. It could still die on me, but I'm praying that everything goes well. Now, this is a very old school uh, method of um, building windows, I guess. Um, this is how we used to build a lot of the city sets. Whereas now, like with the Daily Bugle set, it literally came with 400 window pieces, which is just raw insanity, really. Um, but this is, wow, this is a sticker portion. So this is actually a sticker. I thought that this would be printed, so that's going to be difficult for me. Oh, I don't know if I want to do this in front of the camera. Oh, God, it's embarrassing. It's okay, guys. I got it. Um, again, the video cut out. I have no idea what's going on with my camera. I'm so sorry. Uh... Honestly, I hope that the video is somewhat palatable. <laughs> it's going to be so disjointed. Damn it. It's such a good set too. You know, like good things happen when you're having fun making these sets. That's the worst thing. Okay, so I'm going to do this off camera. 
Um, just because I wonder if it's me coming close to the camera that's causing the issues um, with the recording stopping. Um, so here is the sort of coffin style um, part of the build. Um, we'll put that on here like that and move on to the next part. So we need this piece here. It's weird because before I was like full reaching over the camera, like no problem at all. But then as soon as I do it and it's like, I don't know, maybe it's something to do with focus. I really need someone to just be my cameraman. Like, <laughs> like come help me, please. I really need your help. Um, looking for pieces, looking for pieces. Yeah, so as we go, obviously it gets easier to find the bits that we need. Just at the moment, it's a little bit harder um, because we have more blocky pieces in the way. Um, and this is just a smaller portion of the build anyway. I may, look, it may even get to the point where if the video keeps cutting out, I'm just going to lay over like B-roll, I guess. I'm not sure what I will do for the B-roll, but I'll come up with something, whether that be a picture of the build or something if it keeps cutting out. So now we're doing the back portion of the coffin. So this is like where Darth Maul um, will stand waiting for Ahsoka um, to join him for the jewel. Um, so we're just gonna tighten this up um, so he can hide in here, like this. This is like more your battle pack style, um, but not quite, a little bit bigger than a battle pack. Um, just because of the pieces that come with it, but it's that sort of style. It's a very small sort of display, I guess. It I'm trying to think where it would be good to sort of sit. Maybe as filler, but there's not really much at the moment out. Mandalorian style, Mandalore style, Clone Wars style that fits this category of build. So it's a little bit awkward um, at the moment, but. Hopefully soon Lego comes out with some more either Siege on Mandalore with the Mandalorians, like the actual Mandalorians, not just the one from the TV show. Um, what's her name? Uh, Bo-Katan, I think. Um, put Darth Maul in there now, just so you can see. Darth Maul goes in there. Sorry about the distance, the focal, um, but that's as good as we're going to get with that one. So Darth Maul in there. And that can open and close freely. Shame there's no really like hilt spot for the lightsaber, but I guess we can work with it. Now we're onto the actual throne portion of the build, which is probably um, relatively simple, all things considered. I actually designed a mock the other day that I might post a video on. I'm thinking about it. I'm just trying to improve like my own building skills, so obviously they're not great, some of them. Um, but I actually built a throne um, in that, so I'm not um, feeling very unconfident with this one. <laughs> I think I've got this one in the bag now. So we'll just grab all the pieces for this and just get layering. But every time I build like a new set, it honestly helps me learn different techniques that I didn't know previously or something that I might have missed in my own builds. So it's good to sort of have that knowledge base as well from all the builds that you're building. Um, as Lego come up with new stuff all the time, like you'll see new techniques in builds really regularly actually. Um, and that's the fantastic part about it all. Like I like this gap, like where, why is there a gap here? I don't know, but it looks good, you know? It just looks good. Okay, and it is gonna get filled in though with some of these angled pieces. I think, yeah, that's just a cheaper way of doing that, I guess, um, without having to fill the gap in here, maybe. They could still fill it, but at this point in time, I can't see it happening. Next, we build the throne itself. So that goes on there. And what is this? This is like a tilting piece. I like it. It's like a tilting mechanism. Um, one day I will fix this, I promise. You know, stick around. <laughs> I will do it one day. Um, at the moment, it's just not practical, but absolutely in the future, I plan on having a dedicated Lego room um, where I can do these sort of builds without having to worry about um, focal and 
not having a tripod to mount the camera on and all sorts of things. So basically this is just a latch. So this is to flick the uh, window, I think, back as the um, sort of jewel happens. Um, and I think I've done that correctly. So now we'll be building like the outline for that. I think the throne must sit a little bit forward from there. Um, and that's where our sofa will meet more. And obviously I don't think it's the first time they've met, all things considered, but I could be wrong. I did watch The Clone Wars as a kid. That was one of my favourite uh, Cartoon Network shows um, to watch. So I should know, but sometimes I blank um, or remember things wrong. Like I didn't remember that Jar Jar pretended to be a Sith at, <laughs> at one point. Like, I completely forgot about that portion of the Clone Wars. This one's got a sticker on it, so again, we'll do that off camera. I'm sorry, guys, but um, we just can't do it considering all the mishaps that I've had so far. I was looking at um, some of the parts as well um, on when I was making my mocks, um, and it's funny how many different variations you have of things like these, like these bricks in particular. There are so many different variations of them. It's actually so frustrating sometimes because you're like, okay, stud with hole, oh, sorry, brick with hole in the middle of stud and you open it, you're like, oh my God, there's so many of these. Like, wow. That's just an example, by the way. I don't think that's actually a brick name, um, but you can search for like brick types and stuff in there, um, which is why that's occurred. There's still so many pieces left. Like I'm doing what feels like so much of the build and yet nothing's really happened we're just layering at the moment so slowly building it up that's in the incorrect spot remember that one until we reach the top there's obviously a sliding drawer in the bottom from the box art so that's why there's a gap um, in the middle of it so that you can do the sliding box uh, and we're slowly making our way up the build like that Oh, yeah, you get to do the orange window part of the build. I don't like that these are separate. I would have liked them to be one piece, but that is what it is. I'm just putting the sticker on now. I messed it up. Oh, my God. Thank God you didn't see that. That was the most diagonal-looking sticker I've ever seen, aside from the ones that I did on the Thor build. Yikes. And I assume I do the other one after that. Yep. Easy peasy. There's so many different steps in such a tiny book. Like, it just is so irrelevant. Just make it, like, so that there's two instructions per page. Makes it feel like I'm going for ages, but I'm really just turning pages every three seconds. Which I guess may be a, may be a play by Lego. Maybe they do have some kind of theory about that. Oh, God, that is not sturdy at all. Not a fan of not sturdy parts. That... Absolutely could have been done better. The top portion of this, I'm concerned about. Definitely. Not not the greatest, not the sturdiest part, that bit there. That could use some work, all things considered. But that's okay. We'll just keep going up now. There's like an arch at the top too. So we'll slowly like layer this as we go. And that's just the way Lego does things. And then at the top, you'll see that there's like an archway that we build. Once again, there's a little bit of shakiness in this part, so I'm just going to move it away from the camera. Sorry about that. Maybe this would have been a good one for a time lapse. <laughs> there we go, that's better. Just continuing with the layering now. It's a bit awkward that they had these little bumps and they've moved to that, but it's fine. It's all good. They're like This bit here could have been one piece. Again, that's just Lego sort of... I don't know. It feels like they've they've forgotten they can use bigger pieces. Like, yeah, okay, it is more economic, but um, sometimes you just need bigger pieces, you know? You just can't save money all the time, Lego. What's next? Are we going to get, like, hollow, hollow Lego bricks? Wow, that is so not sturdy. That's actually so concerning. Okay. All right. I, fingers crossed, I hope it becomes... Um, better. Okay, now I like the custom arch that it fits perfect. That reminds me of the Daily Bugle set where we've done this. But um, 
It's still, it's not sturdy. I'm going to be really honest with you. That's not the greatest um, Lego piece. This may tie it in all together, this one brick. Yeah, but that's still twistable, like easily twistable. So that's that's an issue. If you've got like a child who likes to play with the sets, um, be careful with that as it is easily breakable. Like I would have snapped this probably three out of the four times I use it. Okay, I like those. I have no idea what those are from or if they're custom printed, but that is cool. That's a big winner for me. And then we'll put the seat in here now. So this is where the throne goes. Oh, so many pages. <laughs> making me work hard for this one. It's really making me work hard for this one. So I've got to do two of these. Grab that piece from up here. And grab that three bit. We're literally nearly finished, so... Um, there's only probably the draw to do left and a little bit of detailing at the front, I think. But then once that's done, that's pretty much it for the whole build. And I'm glad that it's like small, but also um, still long. Like I enjoy builds that take up some time um, to do just because it makes you feel like, you know, like it is worth your money spending your time building these sets. Um, that really starting to tie in the throne sorry i am just worried about my hand it's not working very well at the moment if you haven't followed my channel before um i have had a broken hand um that's been repaired now but sometimes it just has some issues and um what's the correct term i say lags it lags so not ideal for lego building nowadays but it's getting there i've got some pretty vicious scars on the back of my hand um, from the surgery, which is cool, but um, it was it was hard to get used to at first. I definitely struggled learning. Like I literally couldn't make a fist, which you don't even think about until it happens to you. Like how physically frustrating it is to be in that situation, to be unable to do something that you've been so e like you've been so easily able to do your whole life. I'm making a fist. Um, what was the other movements that I couldn't do? Like uh, flex, flexing my hand as well. Um, further than like 45 degrees. Um, impossible. Okay, this is another bit where Lego is skimping, doing these one studs. Lego, this is bad. Don't do this. Because that happens every time. That looks silly. Don't do that. There you go. Not happy. Not happy. You can do better than that, Lego. That's not great. Always need a two. You can't do it with one. You're skimping. You're skimping. Not a fan of Lego doing that. Don't at me, Lego, but at me. Like, it hurts me. It hurts me as a fan of Lego to see things like that. You don't care about us. You don't care about the people anymore. You just want our money. You just want our money. I mean, look, it's probably always been about the money, but um, yeah, that's just something that could be improved, I guess. <laughs> so this is like the gun safe that sits at the bottom of the build, um, and that just flicks in here like this. Very easy to slide in and out. Don't see any problems with that. And that's literally it. That's the whole set there. Um, so what we'll do is we'll get a close-up of the set um, sorted out so you can see what the whole thing looks like. For some reason, her leg doesn't want to click in. Don't know why. Um, and then, yeah, we can um, finish the video. Here we have the throne um, and with the Darth Maul coffin um, that closes and opens like that. Um, I personally like that it is like a functioning set. I think that's cool, in my opinion. It's a it's a very neat draw to the set, um, but I'm just not overall happy with some of the flimsiness to portions of the build. Some of it's really cool, like the, the throne itself is cool. Um, Ahsoka's great. Darth Maul's great. The coffin's great. The way that the window flips back, that's great. You know, like they've used excellent pieces for that, and I'm so happy with that. 
I'm just not wrapped with some of the little tricks that they've done that are just cheap little nods to to things that it shouldn't be doing. Um, but yeah, look, I, I, I overall I'd give this set probably a seven out of ten. Look, it's pretty good um, for its value. Um, but yeah, look, thank you guys so much for watching, and um, I'll see you guys next time.